To access class reports from an LMS, open up an assignment and choose the view reports option. Within a CK12 class, go ahead into a class that you're looking for and click on reports on the left-hand side. This will pop open in both cases, a full report for all assignments made for CK12 for that particular set of students. At this point, you can dig into some of these different pieces. So for example, on this practice, I can click on Lindsay's 100% which means she got her goal of getting 10 correct for her homework assignment. In this case, she got 10 out of 18 correct. So her skill level is still proficient. She has a couple of easy ones right, medium ones right, and only some of the hard ones right. And then you can even dig into first try, second try of different questions as she works her way through that particular assignment. So feel free to click on any practice to get more detailed information, especially including the skill level that goes with that goal of 10 correct. If I click on a quiz, you can see the quiz information. Here, this person tried the quiz once. Another student might have tried it multiple times if you allowed for multiple attempts. And you can go down and see the same actual questions and answers within there, but a little bit different information in terms of correct, time spent, all the rest of that, and view different attempts if you want to. If I had set a cap on my attempts for my quiz, I'd have the option to dismiss that as well. For practice or quizzes that students have started but haven't turned in, if you click on the box where that score hasn't been submitted and see this needs to turn in option, that means that they actually did some of that work at least, but have yet to turn it in. For Google Classroom and CK12, you can actually turn in that work for them. For Canvas or Schoology, go ahead and ask them to make sure that they turn that work in. For another example of a practice, if you wanted to reset their score, give them a chance to kind of redo their skill level from the beginning, you're welcome to do that. It will reset their whole score. But you can also just review and see when they actually completed each part as they work their way through. For assignments that aren't practice or quizzes, you can go ahead in and you can see here that it just has a turn in information. Those are learning opportunities, a video, a real world application, an interactive. And those just give you full or no credit. So you'll see a check mark in a CK12 report or the matching score in an LMS when it transfers over. This little icon right here, this little clock, means that it was turned in late. So students can submit work once after the due date if they haven't submitted their score. If they've already submitted their score, you would need to override that for them. But you do have the opportunity to quickly see work that was submitted after that due date based on that little icon. One other piece of information is if you need to, you can delete an assignment so that it doesn't show up for students. Be sure that if you have it in an LMS, that you delete it in both the CK12 class as well as the learning management system where it is. So that gives you a sense of both this quick overview option for the report where you can see these different pieces. I can click on here and remove the color coding or see that heat map color coding. And I can export this if I need it exported as a CSV file.